A child comes to your health facility and is due for multiple vaccinations, including two catch-up vaccinations. Are you comfortable giving multiple injections during today's visit? If the caregiver has questions or concerns, will you be able to address them? And how can you minimize the child's pain with each injection? As a health worker, you want to be confident administering multiple injections and addressing caregiver concerns. Many countries have immunization schedules that involve multiple injections at one visit. You may also need to give multiple injections if you are administering catch-up vaccinations to a child who is overdue for vaccination. Wherever possible, provide one dose of each vaccine that is due at a visit. Do not unnecessarily defer giving vaccines. Some caregivers and even health workers may have concerns about multiple injections, but this practice benefits everybody. First, it offers protection from disease as soon as possible. It also reduces the number of follow-up visits needed. It minimizes the risk of defaulting and missed opportunities for vaccination. And it facilitates catch-up vaccination as quickly as possible. However, there are important considerations to keep in mind with multiple injections. In this video, we will cover how to safely and confidently manage multiple injections, how to clearly explain safety, benefits and possible minor side effects, safely administer the injections, minimize pain during injections, and schedule subsequent doses. First, explain the safety, benefits and possible minor side effects of multiple vaccinations. Assure the caregiver that multiple injections given together are safe, effective and generally well tolerated. Let them know that many countries have immunization schedules where children receive multiple injections at one visit. Explain the benefits that multiple injections provide, such as earlier protection against disease and fewer immunization visits. Your confidence and clear explanation should be reassuring. But if concerns remain, do not pressure the caregiver to receive all catch-up doses in one visit and instead agree on the earliest date they can return for the remaining doses. As with all vaccinations, describe potential side effects such as fever and local tenderness at the injection sites as well as how to handle them. Next, safely administer each injection. Remember, do not administer more than one dose of the same vaccine in one visit. Use separate auto-disable syringes and needles for each injection. And when possible, use different limbs for each injection. If two injections into the same limb are required, separate the injection sites by at least 2.5 centimeters, about the width of two fingers. Also, factor in the timing of inactivated versus live vaccines. Inactivated vaccines can be administered together at the same visit, before or after any other inactivated vaccine or live vaccine. As a general rule, live vaccines such as MR or yellow fever vaccines should be given either together at the same visit or separated by a four-week interval. An exception to this rule is oral poliovirus vaccine, or OPV, which can be given at any time before, simultaneously with, or after other live vaccines. Use proven steps to minimize pain at the time of injection. Caregivers and children may be worried about pain, especially with multiple injections. You can help reduce their anxiety by remaining calm, confident, and respectful. Ensure the child is properly positioned. Infants and young children should be held by the caregiver. 
while older children should be sitting upright. Consider ways to distract the child, depending on the age of the child. For infants, involve the caregiver and encourage her to breastfeed during the injection if possible. It may also help to distract the child with toys, books, talking or singing. Ask older children or adults to cough or hold in a deep breath during injection. You can also mitigate pain with the order you administer vaccines. Start with any oral vaccines, then give injections in the order of increasing painfulness. So give the least painful injection first and the most painful last. Finally, schedule and communicate the child's next immunization visit. Calculate the appropriate timing for subsequent doses. Remember that for most vaccines, the minimum interval between doses in a series is four weeks. Clearly communicate to the caregiver when to return for the next vaccinations. Write the dates in the child's immunization card or home-based record. Now you should feel more confident about managing multiple injections.